So how much have you raised? Between our 501c4 and the Super PAC, we've raised a little over 200 million. But the Super PAC obviously is the, the weapon of choice these days. Tell us what a political action committee does and how it operates. So a Super PAC, why do they exist? Because we're allowed to accept unlimited amounts of corporate and individual dollars, but we're not allowed to coordinate with the campaign, their candidate. Technically, that means you literally can't call Bill Stepien and say, here's what we're planning to do. What are you doing? You can't pick up the phone and talk to each other, but you can you call a reporter. Yeah. So this is what I'm doing, and this is why I'm doing it. So you with tell that, the reporter, reporter prints it, and mm -hmm. now the, everybody knows. There aren't a lot of secrets in this business anymore. You have to look at the national framework and figure out, is there something that's particularly relevant to a constituency in that state that may be unique? And in this case, in Pennsylvania, the answer is, yeah, it's fracking. A little more than 40% of Pennsylvanians believe that Joe Biden wanted to ban fracking when we started. And in our last survey data, it was nearly, it was just over 60. So it's worked. More broadly, you'll see us doing a lot of ads on his tax plan. But the, the whole narrative right now is 100% COVID. And that's not really where you want to be having this battle. True, but five days ago, Gallup came out and said the number one issue in the country is the economy. And when you look at who that coalition is that we need to win state by state by state, we've been seeing the economy rise as the number one issue now for almost two months. So does it shift and kind of go like this? Sure, but I'm telling you, when you look at who do I need to win in Pennsylvania, it's the economy. Let's take a look at what you're doing. Okay. Fracking's hard work, but it pays off. We're having a baby in November, just a week before the election. And when Joe Biden says he'd eliminate fracking, he's talking about my job. Let's talk about our future. Joe Biden, be devastating for us. America First Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. So let me ask you about that. You say 600,000 jobs. How do you get to that number? It's based on a Chamber of Commerce study. Because he doesn't support ban current fracking. Well, that's what he says now, but Joe Biden likes to take a lot of positions on a lot of different things. I would argue that on the same day he doesn't, he says he doesn't ban current fracking, on his website it says he wants to eliminate fossil fuels. So at some point he's got to square this circle. What are you saying in your internal polling? Well, I would say this, the president is the closest we've ever had him to winning Pennsylvania today. Closest to winning, but not winning. <laughs> closest to winning Pennsylvania <laughs> as it is today. Nicely phrased.